Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. There is still more than a month left in the session and some people are raising concerns about certain measures. Today, people got the opportunity to voice their questions and concerns with a handful of legislators. Kelloland's Lauren Solick was at today's legislative coffee to find out what the concerns are and to talk with a few lawmakers. From measures which may affect people in the LGBTQ plus community, as well as education funding, immunizations, and Spanish driver's license tests, there was no shortage of topics for those who attended the legislative coffee. Came out today because I was really interested in um, seeing what our um, local legislators' views were on House Bill 1235. House Bill 1235, which would take away immunization requirements for children enrolling in school, is just one of the bills that the seven legislators at the event were asked about. The lawmakers represented districts 6, 11, and 15. Of the seven there, six were opposed to this immunization bill. These events are, are really important because it gives uh, legislators an opportunity to hear from their constituents and get kind of the pulse of, uh, of their feelings on, on what's going on. One topic that many attendees had questions about had to do with education funding. The most important thing we have to do is to put a budget together. We need to make sure that we have enough money to make sure that teachers get at least a cost of living adjustment. When it comes to controversial measures like the vaccine bill or bills that could impact the LGBTQ plus community or the bill dealing with commercial surrogacy, one lawmaker says she's concerned the legislature is spending too much time on those and not enough time on topics like mental health and agriculture. We've been spending way too much time on what I would call bills that don't impact a lot of people and aren't really important to the state of South Dakota. We're talking about things that should be better left to the families, the doctors, their patients. The legislators say if you'd like to send them an email to voice more concerns or ask questions, it's best to include your name and what community you're from so the email is easier to find. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. Today's event was at Southeast Tech. There will be additional legislative coffees this month. We've included extra information about those in this story on Kelloland.com. You can also find past stories we've done on some of the bills discussed today.